Hi guys, welcome back to an another cool video. Today, I am, going to make a new video, on the hidden features and some tricks inside the FL Studio. So let's go straight to the video. Trick number one. How to get stereo waveform in FL Studio. To enable this feature, double left click on the waveform and pulls open the wrapper settings. And from the waveform down here, right click the waveform and from the option select multi channel waveform view. And that's it. By this option, you can check whether the audio file is mono or stereo. One of the option in FL Studio, that most of the users don't know is, Tests. To run the test, go to View menu. And from the option select Tests. And from the pop-up menu, click Run to start the test. This option will help you to check, all the FL Studio native plugins and demo projects. As to check any error in you doll. Feature number 3. Dark and Drop Plugins in Mixer. This feature help users to copy paste the plugins to another channel with one single step. To drag and drop the plugins, first go straight to the Mixer channel, that you have to copy the effects. Left click the Mixer channel and from the options go to the file settings and from the menu drag and drop the option save mixer track state as to the channel you want to paste the whole effects and that's it feature number five disc recording this is a simple trick that the most of the users don't know in fl studio this feature helps to render a song pattern easily. This option helps to render the MIDI patterns to an audio file in a mixer channel. To disk record a MIDI pattern, first open the mixer and select the plugin assigned channel to convert the MIDI into audio file. Then turn on the disk recording option. And then go to the mixer settings. And open the disk recording option and from the submenu, select render to wave files and from the pop-up menu press start to render. And that's it. This will render, all the MIDI patterns, on the selected mixer channel. Next step is, another way of rendering the patterns, this is a simple method for beginners. First is, select the MIDI pattern, that you have to replace. Right click the pattern and from the option select render and replace. And from the pop-up menu press start to render. And that's it. Replacing MIDI pattern into audio clip will save your CPU a lot. And the final part of today's video. Time signature. This is the basic of all songs and projects, but most of the users don't know how to change this in FL Studio. The default, time signature in FL Studio 20 is 4 fourths. To change this first go to options and then open up project settings and from the time settings change the numerator and denominator to your need. And that's it. And thanks for watching our new video. Subscribe the channel for more cool videos. The part 2 will be out soon. Like the video if you like the content.